This segment is brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. Dwayne Taves joining you once again. An opportunity while at the Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show in San Antonio. A chance to catch up with Jennifer Houston. She is the Vice Chair of the Federation Division within NCBA. And Jennifer, certainly a great time to come to Texas and uh, a lot of folks that get together uh, and talk about things that are important to the industry and the checkoff side of things, certainly a lot of good news uh, there from that perspective. Oh, absolutely. It's a wonderful time to be working with the beef checkoff. Uh, last summer, we heard at our summer meeting about the $11.20 return on investment that our checkoff has done. So this is our important time as we start planning for next year. Our committee structure, which is based on the long range plan, is gonna come together and they're gonna set their priorities for this year. And then our contractors will take these priorities and they'll develop throughout the year their ARs that come to the operating committee this fall. So it's absolutely wonderful and imperative that our grassroots producers, and they're here in force, to, to make their voice known and what they feel is the direction the checkoff needs to be going under the guidance of the long range plan. Talking about that long range plan, uh, things evolve over time and certainly the mediums that we're using to reach consumers have changed. Uh, some in focus on what we're trying to do there, but meeting the consumer on their terms is pretty important. Absolutely. Uh, our target audience now is the older millennials, uh, age uh, like 25 to 34, a lot of them with small kids, and they receive their information in a much different way, which is almost all digital. We know social media, we know smartphones are never far from their hands, so we made a strategic decision, the checkoff did, uh, over a year ago to go to an all digital marketing medium. Uh, it was a, a tough decision. You know, a lot of us are really proud of all those print ads and those radio ads that we had and a lot of, uh, lot of equity that we had in those and a lot of love for them. But we know if we want to sell beef to this group of millennials, it's gonna be the largest group of consumers before too very long, then we're gonna have to meet them on their own terms. So we're getting wonderful results from this first full year of in a digital marketing medium of the kinds of interaction we're getting. And that's what it's all about. They don't want to be force fed information. They want interaction. Uh, for example, I was sitting there watching TV the other night and uh, came across my Twitter feed that they're having short ribs on the chew. You know, try this beef, it's what's for dinner recipe for Korean barbecued short ribs. That's the way we can get this synchronicity with digital that we never could in very targeted marketing. We talk about, used to we had a shotgun approach that's reached the masses. Then we, our money went a little tighter. We said, we're gonna go to a rifle approach. Well now, you know, we're down to the money. We're a laser approach. But we do have to change. Another change we're gonna be looking at in 2015 is a new long range plan. We have a new long range plan committee that are gonna be looking at, are we still where we were? Do we need to change some things? Not as much from a tactical level, but from a very strategic high level. Is this still the way we need to be going? We feel we're in the right direction, but we certainly uh, can probably use some tweaking, and that's what this Long Range Plan Committee is going to be doing over the next few months. We'll continue our discussion about uh, the Federation Division with NCBA at the Cattle Industry Convention. We'll have more on that topic after this. I'm Dr. Frank Lyons, a physician here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. As one of the only standalone stem cell centers in the U.S., we use your stem cells as therapy for arthritis and some autoimmune diseases. I'm Dr. Andrew Poe. Here at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center, utilizing the latest technology under strict protocols, we're able to harvest your stem cells from your own fat to treat a variety of medical conditions. The best part about it is, it's a same-day surgical procedure and requires no general anesthesia.